Well, hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob, and today we're going to kind of go over some of the things that I've done to this uh, fish tank frame and show you what we've got going on. Now, I've done a little work to it. It's already up and running and operational. So, first we'll start off with the frame. What we've done is took some treadmill platforms that the belt runs on and made the shelves. Now, I haven't cleaned anything yet. I uh, used it for the backing back in here. I drilled three holes back there, but it punched out some of the black around the holes. So I got to paint those and make them look better. Um, the sides and we made these. We made these brackets to anchor this to the wall. You got four screws in there that anchors this to a stud. There's a stud that goes in here. And then this has got a pin that goes down in a hole and then pins with a, uh, one of them safety pin kind of pins. We called them R keys in the uh, carnival when I worked for the carnival. Worked for the carnival for 10 years. And then this thing where I could put it in different locations. And this is how you level your fish tank stand so let's say that you put a level here on this then you just take and turn this to wherever it needs to be until you get it level so i got one of these on this side and i got one on that side that fish tank is not going anywhere it's solid and as you can see, somebody's in the picture here. Smile, your own candid camera, Mr. Goldfish. And those are the ones that was in my barrel. And they seem a little happy in there. And I found them rocks and washed them. I went and got the gravel for $3 at Walmart. The black gravel we already had because my ex-girlfriend had a fish bowl. That one right there. And uh, I just kind of sprinkled it on top of it to give it a little little accent. And then those flowers or them leaves are fake. They see the flashing light on my camera. Can you guys see the flashing light on the camera? <laughs> And then we made the hood out of a board I had here that was twice as wide as this. So I just split it in half to make the front, the back, and I had enough to do the sides. All right, well then these tiles came from my buddy and I'm gonna to try to utilize these for tops. Temporary, maybe. I don't know. I'm still debating on whether I want to use these. Because if I can cut these down. Of course, this is ceramic tile. So, it's probably going to be hard to cut. Uh, without a wet saw. So, this may not even be the ticket. But for now, I'm just going to use it for a top. So, let me take these off and I'll show you what we got. You guys can look at the fish while I'm taking these off. I'm going to show you the top side for now. So I made this with the corner pieces in it on each corner about an inch and a half from the bottom which was or actually it was an inch so that I'd have at least a border here because this is about an inch and a half from here to the top so this is kind of the top of the fish tank comes to about right there 
Alright, so I made this. Alright, now I'm going to try what I did. I ran a box. Let me see if I can get you over here to it. There's a box right here that's a 12 volt, 800, 800 milliamps, and it's got a plug in it that's like the back of your plug on your computer that plugs into the box and then comes out. 12 volt. I got it run over to the switch nice and neat with some zip ties holding it against there to make it look good. Then I got it going into a switch and into the lights. All right. Now I took a an old light, one of them fluorescent four foot fluorescent light covers. This here covered all the ballasts. And I just turned it upside down and screwed it to the bottom side of this. And you got a screw here holding it onto this one and this one and this one. And it just happened to be long enough to do this. So then I took them 10 LED lights, the clear ones that I did not use on my truck when I bought them because the ones that I bought had five ambers five red ones and five white ones. Well, I didn't use the white ones, so I used them here. So I got one, two, three, four, five here. And it didn't make no sense to have a light here because there's a thing right here on the bottom on the fish tank for the brace to keep the walls from going separated. Then I started one, two, three, four five lights here and then I'll try to raise this and show you what it looks like as you guys can see it looks pretty good so now it's a matter of finding a lid. I'd rather it be wood, so I'm trying to work out a deal on Craigslist. Somebody's got a piano that they're getting rid of, and the top on that piano looks like it should fit this, and it's solid wood. So if I can get that piano off of Craigslist, I answer, or I answered her ad two days ago, and they haven't answered me back, so I'm not going to hold my breath. They probably got rid of it and too trifling lazy to uh, actually answer somebody and say, hey, it's not here no more. So I cut my cutout from my filter. I cut my cutout from a heater. And that should be all I need because I can run my hoses, which I've got in there. I just got to wait for a pump. Um... I had a pump that I was going to try, and let me go get that, and I'll show you what I was going to do. And this would have worked. The only problem is an air pump for a fish tank is only about two pounds. This is one of those things for a breathing machine that you would find in a hospital or something that I happened across and it pumps really good air but it's 40 psi that would blow the sides off of this freaking tank it would literally explode if I was to put 40 pounds of air in this uh, I tried it in the barrel out there and my god man the bubbles were freaking frantic. I mean, violent, violent air bubbles. So this ain't going to work, and you can't turn the pressure down on this. So I'll find another reason for this. Maybe for my, uh, my uh, scroll saw to blow 
uh, sawdust away from your what you're working on so this ain't going to work for this tank it's a shame though because it, it's a nice one and it's free <laughs> but there you have the fish tank working I've got the goldfish in there to start the tank because goldfish can pretty much live in any water so once they start it I've got a test kit coming so I can make sure that my pH balance is right my ammonia balance is right my uh, nitrate and nitrate are correct and my temperature um, we are at 72 degrees right now between 72 and 74 which is actually pretty good and I don't even have the heater plugged in so during the summer I should be good because I used to never run my heaters in the summertime but in the wintertime yeah I'd have to run my heaters so uh, there you have it my fish tank and uh, we're going to do doors, and like I said, the doors are going to be these right here. If I don't turn them into the top, I might turn them into the top. I don't know, make some other doors for the front. Kind of like that for the front, though. So, there you have it. Bison's fishy situation. <laughs> So, I hope this uh, is in, in, uh, or, um, enjoyable, because it really isn't uh, a how-to, it's just a show-off video, I guess. So, anyway, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of my hood. I'm kind of proud of it. And it took me all but about two hours to do it. Uh, once I got all my pieces together, took it out there, I had it in my mind. I cut all the pieces before I even started putting it together. Because I, I already knew what I was going to do because it was pretty simple. Uh, basically, you just got a front, a back, two sides. The two sides are the same size. Two, or four corners once you get your four corners in there then you can split this in half and put one in the middle then you just got two braces here a brace here and the only reason I put that brace there is to mount this the light thing so it just added to it a little bit and then you cut your holes for your filter and your heater and there you go so later guys